What's going on guys? Welcome to another stimulus check update. I have some really good news regarding stimulus and the negotiations moving forward. Just moments ago, House Democrats and the Trump administration reached an agreement on a government spending deal. Now, they are expected to go and vote and pass this sometime later tonight. But I just got done with just got done with the workout. I wanted to bring you this update because this is incredible news. As of earlier this morning, we were under the impression that this government shutdown bill was not going to happen. That Democrats and Republicans were going to fight over the Supreme Court justice seat and not get anything done. However, that's not the case. So this just goes to show that Congress is willing and able to get something done when they really want to and are willing to work for it. So that's really good news. Now, in this government uh, shutdown bill, okay, the stopgap bill or continuing resolution, whatever you want to call it, this bill, it has some really interesting things which could help out a lot of people. First off, okay, it has $8 billion for nutritional assistance. This includes, it renews pandemic EBT for the rest of this year, for the entire year. That's really good news because pandemic EBT helped out a lot of families. So this could be hundreds of dollars to a needy family, to somebody that really needs to put food on the table. So if that is you, don't feel like you're too good for pandemic EBT, it's there. It will help you out. So again, if you if you qualify, if your children who maybe they go to school, maybe they don't, whether it's in person or virtual, if they qualified for free or reduced meals, then you can get pandemic EBT almost immediately and almost automatically. So that's really good. Also, this adds funding for farm aid. Mitch McConnell was adamant that there was no funding for farmers. Well, in this new continuing resolution bill, it's there. That's really good news. This is one of the reasons why just yesterday, Mitch McConnell rejected Nancy Pelosi's proposal because there was no $30 billion for, for farm aid. It wasn't there, it was missing. Well, they talked about this. It was Nancy Pelosi and Steve Mnuchin. They talked about this sometime after Steve Mnuchin testified earlier today and they reached a deal. So again, it should be passed sometime later tonight, if not sometime tomorrow, which is Wednesday. Now, here's the other really good thing about this stopgap bill, and I wanted to bring this to your attention because, again, this is going to help out many families. What they decided to do is they, they lowered the administrative requirements for SNAP benefits for families. So if previously you did not qualify for SNAP benefits, which is, you know, SNAP is uh, you know, supplementary nutrition uh, and something, I don't remember exactly what it stands for, but it's for nutrition, for food. If before you didn't qualify, now you might because they just lowered the requirements. So that's really good news that it is going to provide aid for even more families than it currently was providing aid for. So again, that's really important. Now, why did I want to bring you this update? I wanted to bring you this update because first off, any resolution, any agreement between Congress is good news. But the, the true reason why I wanted to bring this to your attention is because now that Congress has you know, agreed and hopefully will pass something in the next few hours, hopefully, if not tomorrow, now that they've agreed, it now takes one thing off of their plate. Congress was struggling to just pass one thing, however, they they figured that out, they came to an agreement, now they will hopefully pass it very soon. But here's the nice thing, is now they can spend all their time focusing on stimulus. A stimulus package that will truly help out the American people. Now, they are still fighting over the Supreme Court justice seat. However, President Trump is adamant that he is going to choose a nominee probably this Saturday, so in just a handful of days. Now, we will see what happens next week after he does that, but the nice thing is that Congress has the rest of this week, so they have three more days. They have Wednesday, Thursday, Friday to hopefully hammer out some details, get a little bit closer with their stimulus negotiations. Nancy Pelosi did come out today and say, she was asked, 
would you agree or would you accept a $1.5 trillion package if that is what was put out there? And she said, no, no, no. She will not do that. She already came down $1 trillion to $2.2 trillion. And now it's Republicans turn to come up. So that is her stance. But here is the cool thing. Here's the tricky part is that President Trump is rumored to accept any stimulus package up to $2 trillion. He is rumored to sign any package up to $2 trillion. Well, Nancy Pelosi is stuck at $2.2 trillion, which means they're only $200 billion away. Now, say only $200 billion is a lot of money. I can just pull out a check and write a $200 billion check, but you get the idea, right? For the government, $200 billion is nothing. If this is gonna save the economy, if this is gonna save hundreds and thousands of lives, maybe millions of lives, this is something they need to do. Now, right now, Mark Meadows is saying that he is very optimistic that we, as, as a country, will receive a stimulus package before October 1st. Here's some other very interesting news. Delta Airlines, they announced today they are not going to furlough or fire any of their furloughed workers until November. They're going to push it off one month in the hopes that Congress will come to an agreement and pass some type of stimulus, which will include some type of funding for airline industries. Now, if you remember last week, I mentioned that there were airline executives meeting with President Trump at the White House, and there were also airline executives that met with Nancy Pelosi, I believe over a phone call separately. And I don't know what happened. We don't know the gist of it. However, what we do know now is something must have been said because an airline is not going to just keep on tens of thousands of workers if there is no possible way a stimulus package gets passed. So what this tells me moving forward is Nancy Pelosi may have said something, may have you know, reiterated something that made this executive think, okay, we're good. We can keep our employees on for one more month because a new stimulus package will eventually get passed. That is what many people are predicting, that if something gets passed, it's going to happen right before the October 1st deadline. And if something doesn't happen, then it will not happen until after the election. Now, I did a video earlier today. Go and watch it. I talked about the $1,200 second stimulus check and the timeline. And I mentioned in that video, the most likely outcome based on all scenarios, except for, the only thing I didn't you know, factor in here was except for an executive order. Because the executive order at this point, nobody knows whether President Trump can do it or not. Until we figure that out, we, the experts are not factoring in an executive order into their likely scenarios simply because they don't know if it's legal and if it's something that he's willing to do. So at this point, the most likely scenario is that we go to the election and it's after the election we see some type of stimulus check. We see the next stimulus package, which will include second stimulus checks, maybe a third stimulus check. Also will include unemployment, PPP funding, uh, rental assistance, school funding, funding for the United States Postal Service, and so much more. So I just want you to know what to expect moving forward. Here's what many believe is going to happen. First off, there's going to be renewed talks regarding stimulus, so that's a good thing. There's also going to be possible standalone bills. And I say this because there might not be a stimulus check, there might not be you know, rental assistance, but there could be PPP funding, there could be uh, a standalone bill for the United States Postal Service, there could be, you know, a standalone bill for unemployment, possibly stimulus checks. However, that's one of those things. Stimulus checks and state and local governments, that is the, the two things that they're trying to put together, which is what's making stimulus checks very difficult at this time. The last thing I want to say, Mark Meadows, he mentioned something that I thought was shocking. He mentioned, well, what if we just eliminate stimulus checks? Would Democrats agree to a stimulus package that doesn't include stimulus checks? Well, as of right now, Democrats are not, uh, they're not against passing you know, a stimulus package, but they are against eliminating the needs, eliminating the funding for the American families. 
and that includes stimulus checks. So, as of right now, all the power is on Democrats inside of the House. Because of that, we just have to wait and see what the House does. If the Senate is going to play games, that the House is going to play games right along with them. So, what you need to understand is moving forward, we do not want to see games. We want to see action. We want to have clear and concise you know, messages, whether it's through the media or, or not through the media. We want to know exactly what Congress is thinking. So I just want to bring you this update because I think it's very crucial information. It's really good news moving forward. So again, make sure if you haven't done so already, click that subscribe button down below because tomorrow I'm going to give you a couple more videos to help you out, keep you updated on all things stimulus and everything moving forward. So if you have any questions going forward on stimulus, how to make money, please ask your question down in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching. Do me a favor, if you enjoyed today's video, smash that thumbs up button, subscribe if you haven't done so already. I'll see you guys on the next one.